beautiful people of Africa. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another exciting episode of Street Hub. It's your girl, Miss Vic, a.k.a. Victoria. <laughs> and on the show today, okay, first of all, I just want to say some girls want to be pretty <laughs> and some girls are just fly. You know, they can help <laughs> it. So on the show today is one of the fly ones, okay? <laughs> she doesn't have time for all your stupid pretty stuff. She's just fly. And, you know, she's she's a girl who's doing so well in a male-dominated field. And I'm so happy to have DJ Lambo whoop, whoop. on what? this show. With Was me that me you introduced me Of now. course. Are you kidding? Look at you all red and everything. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Thanks welcome, for having me. It's to good to be here. You kept Thank me you. waiting, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. It's good to see you. How are you it's good doing? to see you. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so we're going to go on a quick break right now. And when we come back, we'll be having some nice chat with DJ Lambo. Stay with us. Okay, so I'm going to start off and just ask, put it out there. What was your childhood like? Because, oh, okay. I mean, I know that you have... Ugh. Uh, you have a brother that we all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who mm -hmm. does, who makes Makeup. us look pretty. <laughs> and then you have your own DJ thing. So it's yeah. kind of like a mixed roles yeah. situation. Yeah. So how's that? How's that going for you guys? Um. Well, so which one do I answer now? You asked me like, like 100 questions. Okay. <laughs> Let's but start yeah, from the top. Yeah. yeah, growing up for me, it was really nice. Like, I have four brothers. I'm the only girl. And my dad was a DJ. Mm -hmm. so I know. Although, oh, yeah. <laughs> So although he wasn't a DJ like when I was alive, he was a DJ when, when he was younger, right. you know, so like we had a lot of records and my dad was like, you know, that guy mm -hmm. that he was a G. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a lot of parties in the house, you know, so I grew up listening to a lot of music mm -hmm. and, you know, growing up with four boys, like I grew up climbing trees and playing football and you know that sort of thing that's so. what happens when you're the only girl <laughs> with all the guys. yeah so and i was really close with my dad so mm. i think that just kind of made me get into the music and you know that sort of thing but yeah speaking about my younger brother um everyone in my family is kind of um we're all somehow talented like artistic let me say artistic let like me say a chew, yeah because like, like my first brother is a photographer yeah my second brother is a writer right. and um oh okay just writers. my my third brother is not really into the arts but um yeah and then i'm a dj and my kid brother is a makeup, makeup artist. artist so <laughs> a family of you know so i think it's just in the blood yeah okay so you were an oip yeah with Rhythm, Rhythm Ray, Power, Ray Power, Love right. FM, yeah, all in Before the whole DJing thing started. So yeah. are you going to go back to being an OAP? Uh, hardly, no. No? no. If, if, if I ever maybe decide to stop being a DJ, I'll probably be a rapper or like Right, a... so that was what I was going to ask you. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you, like, if you were not a DJ anymore. Yeah. So you're very into rap? Yeah, well, yeah, kind you have, of. You have I have a few, down? yeah. Can we hear something right now? Just oh, put this down. I'm putting you on the spot. spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see if I can remember. Uh, from my my first single. Do you need me to drop some beats for you? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> to get to. That's hey, what I know. Yeah. <laughs> to get to. Hey, to yeah. Get to. Um, to get. Mic check. One, two, one, two. <laughs> this is a freestyle, yo. <laughs> I go by the <laughs> name <laughs> DJ Lambo. <laughs> chilling in the studio <laughs> with Vic O. How dare you? How dare you? No! I just had to say something to rhyme. Sorry. That's a legend right there. We're yeah, talking he about, is. You he know, is. Let's not he even is. play with that guy. Anyway, so I'm going to ask you okay. um, what's your favorite genre of music? I mean, if you had to probably start mixing something right now, yeah. what do you like to start with? Um, basically, uh, well, if I, if I was going to play a set right now, I'll play a set depending on the people who mm. are there to listen. Right. But my favorite genre of music, like, mm -hmm. I like all kinds of music. So right. you can catch me listening to Sonny Ade or catch me listening to Enya or catch me listening to, you know, from, like, scary. High Life. To, no, <laughs> I'm see? sorry. You see? You see? I like some of the popular ones, you know, right. but, like, I don't really like all those pop jams, all those... 
kind of jams. <laughs> I know sorry. what you mean. I know what you yeah. mean because I obviously I didn't, I didn't see you doing that. I saw you like yeah. doing rap, like yeah, yeah. It's Tupac to listen type to. thing. Yeah, Tupac is actually one of my fa all time favorites. Isn't he everybody's? Yeah, I think so. He was a so G. if you are probably DJing in Lagos party mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. and you wanted to do something to get the party hopping, mm -hmm. what is the song you play? Dun, dun. Doom, doom. You know what that's you know what song that is? <laughs> the reggae yes. play the blues. Everybody just goes crazy as soon as they hear that song. But before reggae blues, what was it for you? Uh maybe Shaki T Bobo. Hmm. Or uh yeah, I think so. I think Shaki T Bobo before Reggae Blues. And then before then was probably Woju or mm, Shoki right. and you know. Basically you own the bangers. Oh yeah. So you just have to like play a popular song and everybody yeah, goes everybody crazy. Just goes so do you ever do you ever feel the pressure of, you know, maintaining that pace? You know when you take people all the way up there and you're mm -hmm. thinking Oh my God, I have to keep this up. Do you ever feel the pressure? Like, okay, what do I Yeah, think there is a lot of pressure. And sometimes when, you, when you're out of hits, right. then maybe you just do a throwback. Like maybe, this is how we do it. Yeah, yeah. Everybody just goes, hey, yeah, this is works. how we do it. That you know? Works. So, yeah. And, cool. but really, at a party, you just kind of build the momentum. You start a bit slow, not like and really, really slow. And well. then, yeah, you understand the crowd. And then you build and build and then get to that point. Yeah. So I think that we should go on a music break right now. Yeah. And we will play Reggae Blues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, okay. this is Reggae Blues by Harry Songs and Cole. We'll be right back. After the reggae, play the blues. The blues, the blues. Make you do as I do. I do, I do. Enjoy yourself, baby, boo. The blues. Share the booze, booze, booze. Everybody wanna groove, groove, groove. As far as the money they pay, they pay, they pay. He be all pop champagne, you. Ah. Ladies call me talk and do. I talk, I do. Cause I know they for fuck and do. Your style. I want to yeah. talk about your style. Okay. From hair to toe. Okay. This red hair is mm -hmm. it is a recent development. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty new. First yeah. time. Uh, well, it might not be first time. Depends on when this shows, but first time. Hmm. Yeah. And get used to it for a bit. Exactly, because I don't think <laughs> I've ever 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 seen you braid it up. Have you? Yeah, I did I it one think. time. Okay. But, but it wasn't Maybe as serious as this. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went all out, you know. You clearly did. That's I'm very red. And then your style is obviously, yeah. you know, you're laid back, tomboyish. Have you always been like this? Or is yeah. something that just grew on you? Um, remember I said I grew up before Four boys. boys. Yeah, right. so. Um, Nobody to steal clothes from, so you have to steal Yeah, clothes. so, yeah. So, <laughs> I pretty much grew up wearing shorts and, you know, stuff like that. But there was a point in my life when I, you know, started to dull up a bit, but it didn't what last. Happened? You got tired? <laughs> It didn't last. It's too much work being a girl. <laughs> too much work. I tell you. I too tell much you for work. sure. So I'm going to ask you also. People have their assumptions about you and obviously your other <coughs> popular sibling, J.A. Okay. Um, you being a DJ and he being a makeup, makeup artist, artist. And they're yeah. like, okay, are these people, you know, swinging? Are they playing on the same team? <laughs> are they, you know, people usually think you guys are, you know, sexually... You 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so it doesn't just, bother you? No, no, it doesn't bother me. I mean, everybody has the right to, okay, you know, yes. think. But you want to clear the air, do. don't you? Yeah, I do want to clear. But I, well, I think it's, it's pretty obvious. People that know me know uh, who I'm dating. So right. Yeah. <laughs> so coming through. So that. it's cool. Straight, straight as a ruler. You are. Hundred percent. So how is your how is your person that you were dating? Is he <laughs> is he you know I don't even know. He's a cool uh, guy. He's a cool guy, right? Mm -hmm. Is he? G? Is he a G boy, like a gentleman, or you know, like a party? Mm, he's a bit of everything. Is he really. in the industry? Is no. Is he someone we know? Oh, jeez. Next question. <laughs> okay. Can wait, we, wait, can wait, we go to break? <laughs> wait. We heard. We actually heard that you're probably going to get married next year. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's not jinx it. Okay. But, okay. We're not jinxing it. It looks like it. So okay. guess what? DJ Lamo is grace. straight. <laughs> And she has a G boy, man. <laughs> and she's getting married soon. But we're not jinxing it. Congratulations, yeah. girl. Thank you. Look at me. I'm still single, though. Oh, really? Was Guys, like she's single. Call me if you need the hookup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, please. Anyways, congratulations on that. I Thank hope it you. works for you. Yeah, um, so, too. so, you being in the limelight and um, your partner not being in the industry, uh, is there something you do to like strike a balance between who. DJ Lambo is and who you are to your partner. Well, you know, like I said, when you asked me a question about how, how I dress and stuff, mm -hmm. I, I I try almost all the time to keep it real, yeah. 100%. I'm yeah. who I am, wherever you catch me, whenever you catch me. And I think he understands that. Really, the only thing that's crazy about my lifestyle is that, you know, late, odd hours. Yeah. You know, that's the only thing. But apart from that, I go out and I come back home. You know what I mean? So, and How I don't know. We don't have any together? issues. We've known each other for a long time, like since I was in uni. But okay. um, we only started dating about three or four years ago. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. How mm. did we stay together that long? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. But it's cool. It's mm. cool. I wish, I wish you the best, really. Thank you. So, on to other things. Because yeah, I don't want you exactly. to start blushing right now. <laughs> What exactly. do you do when you're not DJing? What is your next favorite thing to do? I like to watch a lot of TV. Right. Yeah, I, lo I love TV shows. Like, I can watch a TV show from beginning to end, like, all two seasons or three seasons straight. Okay, you know that is I mean? something I cannot do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's, just but it's fun. Like, if it's, if it's interesting, you know, like, if it's interesting, that's right. what I want to do. I can't wait a whole week to watch the next episode as well. Right. Yeah, and, and then I love movies as well. And then... But really, mostly what I do is just listen to music and just try and I have so many ideas, just try and tailor my ideas. Music is your career, isn't it? Yeah, so, so, and it's also what I love. So. Yeah. So are we going to like hear any rap music from you in the future? I mean, you're already with Chuck <laughs> City, so. <laughs> my first single, actually, No Mercy, featuring M.I., was... I rapped on, on that single, and mm. a lot of people don't know it, but check it out. It's called No Mercy. We definitely will. Featuring in my, yeah, and I rapped cool. on it. And so in your so Chuck City fam, it. who are you closest to? You know, different people mean, like, different, different things, things to me, you know, right. yeah. But I would say I'm closest to these three people in no particular order. Right. Abuchi, who's not an artist, he's okay. M.I.'s manager, but he's a big part of the family. Right. M.I. and Luz Kanon okay. and Jesse. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like the whole family over there, but it's okay. No, there's still Ice Prince, yeah. there's still Ruby, so, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, still right. Victoria Kimani, so you're there's Coca. Any of the girls? Well, we're cool. <laughs> We're cool. We're very cool. I'm cool with everybody, but those are the people that I'm closest, closest to. to. Yeah, those are the people you catch me. I feel like you're yeah. the kind of girl, you're just really comfortable around guys. guys. It's like you're mm -hmm. like, okay, mm -hmm. you're, you're comfortable. You're, fam you're <laughs> home when you're with the boys. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Thank guys, you. guys, girl. I like that. <laughs> so I want to know, what's your guilty pleasure? Ah, uh, guilty pleasure. Can I say that on TV? Yes, Anything, please. whatever it is. Yes, please. Beer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my mom isn't watching this. <laughs> yeah, even if she is, you're a big girl. I mean, you can handle yourself. Yeah, but yeah, I used to like to drink beer, like just hang out with the guys and have a beer. But um, I started to watch my weight. So, because I was, I was growing this really huge beer gut. So, <laughs> I had to stop. 
So, mom, I don't do it anymore. Right. <laughs> I'm sure I should be Honestly, you. honestly. I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. how do you prepare when you're about to do a gig? Apart from the fact that you're obviously nervous. You get nervous, right? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes. So when are you not nervous? Um, lately, I haven't been nervous much because lately I just told myself that. Every time I'm nervous, like really, really nervous, I end up messing up my set. Right. So I just told myself that, look, Lambo, you're the greatest that ever lived. Yes. So now I believe it. So when I just get on stage, That's the I'm just, I just look at the crowd. I'm like, what do these people want to hear? And I just give it to them. Bam, bam, bam. Give it to us. <laughs> give us. Yeah. Lambo, you're, you're, you're DJing my next party. That's for Woo! Woo, woo. Yeah. So y'all better stay tuned. I hope too. you have money. $5,000. Cheap, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we're friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be like you know pro bono but it's i was okay. just kidding i was just kidding but you know i got you i know thank <laughs> yeah. you so we're gonna go on another music break right now yeah so i want to ask you who you are feeling in the industry i know you will say everybody mm, i'm feeling everybody is doing well <clears throat> everybody is doing well but let's just do something from chocolate city so you guys are about to check out this brand new single by my brother ice prince zamani and this one is titled boss produced by techno check it out in my name, no, I got bottles in my name. Shopping in my name, no, I got flexing in my name, no, I got jumping in my name. Jumping in my name, no, I got all the girls that like that. When I post on my page, they're right back. You know, all the boys that hate that. And I just do the pretend I'm laid back. You know, follow me to best stack. You know, girl, you know what best that. You know, everything I do. I be like Jimmy Jazz yeah. Popping in my name Bottles in my name Shopping in my name yeah. Flexing in my name Jumping in my name Jumping in my name Getting money, but all of us have to shake body. Oh, yeah, like Pano getting money, but you know, say, I like bad is got that place. Oh, yeah. If you are playing me, Connie, you know, say, you don't go funny. Hey, hey. If you they look me for face, you know, see, say, I they look you for face. Oh, ah, yeah, sure, you feel my feet, and you see us the thin baby. Uh, all my guys, them jeans, and we keep it 110 degrees. Oh, ah, yeah, falling is a must. Girl, them are coming in a rush, and them are, them are up and leave, and them are flying over. Look at me, and look at you, all my niggas fresh, there's nothing you can do. Welcome back guys, Digi Lambo is still in the house, I don't know why she's laughing, but you know, yeah. private joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to ask you, yeah. whose style of DJing do you admire? Let's just use the word admire. Style of DJing, I think everybody has a unique style, yeah. so, but I, I, I don't... The, the, the person I'm going to say right now is I, I don't admire him because of his style of DJing particularly. I just admire him for everything that he, he is. is. Yes. And that's DJ Mustard. Okay, Mustard. Who do you think <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it over it. DJ Mustard. mustard. You know you oh. know DJ Mustard. Yeah? Not really. I haven't heard his work, but... Mustard and the Beat. Oh, have you heard that? Before? Right. And all the you hot know, tracks know, You know, you know right the funny now? thing? You know how sometimes you hear some things and you don't realize... Yeah until you actually maybe get to meet the person or... Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, so what that's do you someone like I really look, look up to. Because, like, he's making all the hits right now. All the hits. Hmm. And one time I watched his performance. This guy was playing all his songs. Right. Practically all his songs. And the crowd was a gog. you know? He just goes... Rack City, Rack, Rack City. Everybody's, like, singing. <laughs> And you know, the crowd was lit all through his performance and he nice. played all his songs back to back to back. So I want to be in that position whereby I'm playing my music and back, everybody's back going back. crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he is someone that, you know, I really, really look up to. But then, of course, DJ Khaled, mm. the uh, Calvin Harris, right. David Guetta. Uh, so yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David Guetta, A-Track. Yeah you know Skrillex and then bringing it back to Ninja of course Jimmy Jack mm. that's that's someone who has been in the industry for a really long time long and time. he's he's been at the top of his game yeah. so he must be doing something right you know okay yeah. so now <laughs> 
you so, hit me with hard questions. No, is it? Like, why you just say, no, nah, I just get scared. I'm no, just like, come uh, on. here We're we friends. go again. I'm here for you. <laughs> nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to be afraid about. Okay, you know? cool. So, um, I need to ask you right now. If, for example, you had to say someone in the industry is your competition, mm-hmm. someone you want to get ahead of, just someone that you know that if you get ahead of, then it means you have really made you know, that mark that you want to make, who would, mm. you, who would you pick? Um, I will say this first of all, right? I'm, I'm DJ Lambo, Nigeria's foremost female DJ. The greatest there ever was. Damn, girl! <laughs> <laughs> you know like I mean? <laughs> so, um, not to sound cocky or anything, but, yeah. you know, I'm, like, creating a path for others to follow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, if you say, who, who do I see as a competition? First of all, I'm in my own lane, you know? Mm. People are trying to catch up. You know what I mean? So, I, I wonder who, who, who's oh that God, person? Oh who's God. that? <laughs> I like it. I like so, this yeah. this confident cockiness. You know this. You see how she said that? Like who? Nice, so, nice. I like that. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. that you were honest about that because you know mm-hmm. you could have easily said Jimmy Jans or something. <laughs> who okay. is your celebrity crush? Uh, celebrity crush. It changes all the time. Who's it changes Who's the most all the time. Uh, right now, I I, I don't know. I haven't In Nigeria, even... please. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus! Now you're putting me on, on this spot. What I do? Let me see. Who are, who are all these hunks? I would say Flavor. I guess he's hot. He has a nice bod. So Sorry, your boyfriend baby. is like Flavor. <laughs> do they have like the same type of thing. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't mean that type of thing. I mean, <laughs> oh my god! I mean physique, like you know. No, but I think Flavor is hot, and he yeah. knows he's hot, so he just throws it right there out in everybody's face. And it you bothers know. you, just no, not really, because you know I'm content. I have my hands full, mm. literally. Mm. So, Look at <laughs> Flavor, are you, are you done? <laughs> yes, I'm done. You're done. Mm-hmm. Kind of red. No, like on the uh, red, yeah. red yeah. hair, yeah. red. Oh, <laughs> no no. <more> face. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna ask you, uh, what are you working on that you need your fans at home to know about? I'm working on my album. What's it called? Actually, while I was sitting here, yeah, I, I a name came to me, but inspiration. I'm not gonna say yet, but, but I'm not working fingers with it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Okay. So, but I'll let you know first Thank when you. I when I've decided on that. So yeah, I'm not working with any title right now, but then I'm working with a lot of artists, working with a lot of producers. I'm trying to do something mm-hmm. no one has ever done, you know, and I don't want to rush it. So. I'm taking my time. As you can see from my first single, I'm trying to do like collabs that, you know, Mm. people haven't even seen before or heard about. So, and which is what I I feel the fans will want to hear. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm about to put you on the hot seat. Uh, You mean I haven't been on the hot seat all this while? (laughs) You know, it's funny that all my guests say that. (laughs) But okay, this is the hot seat right now. Okay. Game, game. So. You know what? I like you. So I'm going to ask you, should we pick uh, DJs <laughs> or actors? Who do you think? Hmm. Just, uh, you don't know what the game is yet, but yeah. if you had to pick between DJs and actors, you know, I never give anybody options, but I'm giving you, this is the first time I'm doing this. So you have to know that you're special. Uh, DJs or actors. Mm-hmm. I feel like picking DJs because, you know, because I'm a DJ, you know. Right. But I think with actors, I'll have more options. So let's go with actors. It's three either way, so. Oh, it's three. I guess three. we pick three names either way. So, oh. actors, right? Okay. Final answer? Actors? DJs. Okay. Yeah, let's go with <laughs> DJs. DJs. Yes. Okay. So, basically, on the hot seat, mm-hmm. I ask you from this three DJs that I will mention mm-hmm. who you're going to take home to mama? <laughs> who you're going to have a one night stand with? And who you're not interested in? Jesus. So, for the sake of baby at home, in case you're watching this, <laughs> you can just do like a disclaimer to baby and to yeah, the guys we're going to mention. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, baby. like all the DJs are my brothers, you know, we're fam. So, yeah. just in case it's not you, I'm taking home to mama. Don't take it, P. You, you're my guy. You're my brother. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. <laughs> 
So okay, so I'm gonna put it out there, okay. and this is again everybody's single. Okay. So, um, DJ, so say mm -hmm. DJ Neptune, mm -hmm. DJ exclusive. Wow, that's a tough one. I'll take uh, DJ Neptune home to Mama. I know, right? Because he's married and he has a kid, and you know he's all responsible. I said we're all you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I know. What he would be like. Uh, you know what? You know what? Everything. I actually think I know your spec right now. <laughs> you know? I think I know who you like. I think I might be able to point out that this might be Lambo's <laughs> boyfriend. This one. <laughs> Tall, nice buddy. I got that. Let's see. Neptune home. One night stand, I think, exclusive. Hmm. Uh, no, but the thing is, I would say not interested in Susie because, like, he's all right. He's cool. So, it's just weird. So, but, are you interested okay. in Susie? <laughs> That's something you want me to know? No, he's my brother from time. Right. He's, been my brother. he's my brother. Yeah, shout out to all the brothers out there. Yeah, my G's. Shout out. <laughs> well, before we go, okay. I just want to, I want to laugh, actually. So I'm going to give you like a tongue twister. Okay. To say for me real quick. Okay. So I want you to say stupid superstitions five times as fast stupid, as you can. Stupid, stupid superstitions. superstitions. Okay. Yes, five times as fast as you can. Count, so, count me down. Three, two, one, go. Stupid superstitions, stupid superstitions, stupid superstitions, stupid, <laughs> stupid superstitions, stupid superstitions. That wasn't even fast, you're rapping it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> can't you go faster? Like Stupid superstitions, stupid superstitions, stupid superstitions. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. done. That works. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lambo. Thank you Thank for coming. Thank you. I, I had too. fun. Um, I had a great time. Give a shout out to your fans and also tell them how they can find you on social media. Uh, okay, shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting DJ Lambo. Shout out to everybody that loves Chocolate City, CBN. Woo! We're the actual best. Follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook is at DJ Lambo underscore. That's at DJ L-A-M-B-O underscore. Okay. Yeah, and Snapchat and everything. So, what do you want us to close the show with? Uh, more chocolate city. Let's have a bullion van by MI. Yeah, you see me in that video, turning up. We're <laughs> stepping the club with a bullion van. <laughs>